Twin Turbo Tuesday then. A uh, bit of a different update again. Steve's uh, not behind the camera. I am. So you'll just get the blue rubber gloved hand pointing at things. Um, don't get too excited. I'm not fitting the turbos in this uh, <laughs> upload. I'm um, just all prep work again. So um, coming today uh, to relocate a few things around this area hopefully uh, because uh, in previous episode you'll have seen I'm planning on mounting the ECU in this area because I run LPG that's where my vaporizer is so I'm uh, planning to move the vaporizer to here however to achieve that the LPG ECU needs to be located to here this area on a bracket so it's easily removable in case I need to change a headlight bulb or indicator anything like that um, and uh, might look at tidying up the wiring, shortening it because it's all just sort of tucked in this box at the moment. Um, probably won't move the vaporizer today. It'll just be a case of uh, battery out, get this battery tray out so I can trim this all down and get this huge lump of plastic out, out of the way. Uh, and then making the bracket up for the ECU location here and get the wiring sorted on it uh, in terms of wire lengths, making sure I'm all good there. Um, those that follow us on Facebook will have seen the thermostat housing uh, is now fitted with the 76 degree stat in it. That's up under here. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll put it on the ramp then we can have a look. There we go then, so that is the custom aluminium um, thermostat housing. Made from two uh, pieces of Billa Alley um, with then the pipework welded onto it. Now I'm not a professional welder, but uh, this is prototype and uh, fully functional welding. Um, we are now going to put these into production and uh, they will be professionally welded. I've just got a couple of little mods to do to the machining uh, just to uh, make it a little bit neater, i.e. the countersinking on these holes. Obviously uh, is a little bit deep on, uh, on here. I'd like it so the heads of the bolts are, are flush which also means the very tip of the thread won't be sticking out the other side, it'll actually be flush with the other side of the uh, housing, which is good. Um, so it runs a 76 degree thermostat, um, ambient or normal running temperature on the engines pre this stat install. I've had several customers sort of confirm this to me and I've, I've run a few Range Rovers around here with the diagnostics kit on and they're sitting in, in sort of mid 90s um, plus or minus two or three degrees depending on what you're up to in the ambient temperature outside. 76 degrees stat on the bottom hose um, equates to mid 80s at the top where the temperature is taken by the ECU so um, I'm seeing mid 80s plus or minus uh, two to be honest with you I'm, I'm sort of sitting between 84 and 87 uh, depending on what I'm doing. Um, obviously I haven't really tested it in warm weather yet because it's now approaching November uh, but I'm confident that uh, it will do its job then as well. Um, so the reason for that 76 on the bottom 86 at the top is obviously the 10 degree drop over the radiator cooling the water and having a stat on the bottom hose uh, means uh, it's obviously uh, showing that the stat is 10 degree lower temperature than what you actually run at the, the top of the engine. So yeah, pleased with that. Um, I think that's all to show you beforehand. So I'm going to crack on for the day. And then at the end of the day, I will uh, show you how much or how little I got done under the bonnet. Well, that's me done for the day. Um, nice and successful. Can't move the LPG vaporizer yet because I didn't have the foresight to order a joiner and uh, a small length of flexi LPG feed that comes from the LPG tank. Uh, but uh, have removed the rear plastic section of the battery tray uh, originally on the P38s so that housed the GEMS ECU on the petrol models um, the Thor ECU is all the way over there which as we know I'm relocating or going to relocate over to here but to enable me to do that I need to move my LPG vaporizer to here which is where that tray was and my LPG ECU was so that's now here Little bracket clamped down under the battery clamp, nice and secure, ECU is bolted to that. All of the wires from the LPG ECU now run uh, up under my isolator for the winch and up to the engine, to the injectors, um, etc, all the sensors. Um, so just got one wire to shorten here which is the one to the vaporizer which I'll shorten once the vaporizer is located. Had to lengthen six wires, um, the RPM feed. Um, although I'll be able to shorten it again once the ECU is moved, but for now that's lengthened in there. 
the four wires for the LPG switch and the one wire for the OBD2 port that the LPG is e-wired into. They just need wiring uh, extending so they now run down this side to here. Um, got the diagnostics port uh, for the LPG ECU there, nice and easily accessible. So really pleased with that. Excuse the cable tie on the map sensor, the bracket broke off. I think actually the bracket broke off on a customer's car and um, we didn't have one in stock at the time so the customer was happy to have the one off my car and I've always just uh, ended up cable tying it. I really should order another one in um, when I uh, order that pipe just so I can make a nice bracket up for that and make it neater. So fingers crossed the vaporizer will turn through 90 degrees to this position behind the battery. Uh, as I just said, the LPG feed needs lengthening, water pipe that's uh, coming from the heater matrix um, runs to the bottom of the vaporizer. That um, will just need lengthening, I'll run a new, new bit of hose that's longer. The return that goes into the T-piece that's on the header tank to the custom thermostat, that um, probably just want lengthening, yeah, probably go actually, the T-piece is down here. It runs up around this at the moment, so we'll see. Um, and then the LPG vapor feed that's here. Uh, probably just shorten that because this is turning through 90 and moving here. Uh, I'll check it and see if it needs replacing though for any, uh, um, any splits or anything. It shouldn't be. It's all been uh, nicely done when I installed the kit a few years back. So all of that in aid of getting this ECU out of the way here because that's where the charge cooling uh, system header tank is going to be located um, so on the dummy vehicle that we mocked up the whole turbo system on and built the turbo system on to rather than taking my car off the road for what's now a year yep <laughs> that long ago um, I was able to move that ECU the wires long enough to get it over to where uh, the LPG ECU is at the moment um, obviously if your car's not LPG converted like the uh, dummy vehicle wasn't um, then this space is already available. What I'm doing at the moment, which is multiple hours of work, uh, relocating this and then relocating the LPG ECU, wouldn't be needed to be done. But I use my car quite a bit. LPG saves me, obviously, a few pennies. So, um, yeah, I'm happy to spend the time doing that. That paint's held up quite nicely on, uh, on the intake manifold. Still got the... Um, soundproofing on the bonnet to remove. I've got some uh, sticky backed heat proof stuff for want of a better term so which will be going onto there. Um, as you can see it's sort of been dangling a bit and has been uh, I think it's been sort of sat on on here. But yeah so that's me done for the day. Um, I was about to say have a good weekend, but uh, today's Saturday for me. This video will of course go up on a Tuesday, so uh, enjoy the rest of your week guys. Cheers.